Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead and subscribe if you are listening to this on the podcast platforms. And if you are on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button while you're at it. As you know, like we say over here, it's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. And let's just go ahead and get into this conversation. Guys, I wanted to talk about Whitney Houston because I've recently been listening to Leola Brown, who is Bobby Brown's sister. And over the years, she's made a lot of headlines about things that she has said regarding what Whitney and Bobby were doing. And in the light of Whitney's unfortunate passing over 10 years ago at this point, and, you know, just the the tragic way that she lost her life as well as Bobby Christina, it's, it's really interesting to hear some of the things that she's saying now and alleging as well as if you look back over news headlines about things that she has alleged years ago, I don't think this woman is crazy. I believe that she knows a whole lot more than people give her credit for. And I don't believe that she was ever one that was seeking clout or attention or, or definitely even money. So I believe she knows a whole lot more than a lot of people give her credit for. And I'm actually going to put a link in the description box to one of the videos that I watched of hers today. I actually subscribed to her YouTube channel. And she she made a number of allegations about Pat Houston, who was Whitney Houston's sister-in-law. She's married to Whitney Houston's brother, one of his brothers. Well, the news broke a couple of weeks ago that they were going to create a fragrance for Whitney Houston. And that was just like, what? You know, to hear that. Because if she was going to have a signature fragrance, it seems like something that Whitney Houston would have done when she was alive. And I've never seen her endorse products, create her own products, nothing like that. And I know we see that a whole lot more in these days, but it's nothing new because a lot of singers have had fragrances over the years. Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Britney Spears. It's not, it's not a new thing. But we never saw her involved in anything like that. And so to see this woman having in her death a fragrance after actually 10 years, a fragrance, it it just seemed cheap. It seemed tacky. It seemed like a money grab. And I truly indeed believe that. And so... She said, I'm going to read something that she said, and this is Pat Houston, Whitney's former sister-in-law and her longtime manager and executor of her estate. She says, to wear Whitney Houston is to feel inspired and confident like Whitney, who has always encouraged women to embrace the greatest love for themselves. Okay, who wrote that line? <laughs> I, I just am like, uh it feels weird. It feels weird. And now the news, I don't want to say the news, but it's it's also being reported that her assets, some of her assets have been sold off. And so the story is that Pat Houston has opted to sell the singer's assets. And She says the reason she did it is because she wants her legacy to be remembered fondly. This is what she says. And I'm like, well, it's been over 10 years. And what people know of her is what people know of her. You really can't change what has happened. But those who are going to remember her fondly for her music, most people do. Most people after her death were not just focused on the negatives. And and so with 
with this move to sell her assets to this company, it, it seems to me that she's just trying to save face because she knows that the negative comments are going to come. So she did a recent interview and she talked about selling her assets to publishing and marketing company, Primary Wave. And she says, with everything that's going on right now, she's still touching lives. And that's what I want to do in a very positive way. She should be remembered by her music and the work that she's done in the community, not by her relationships. And the fact that all these things are happening proves that it's a clear path without any distractions to make things continue to happen for her legacy. And it's like, okay, that sounds pretty. That sounds nice, wrapped up in a bowl and sentimental. But here's the deal. Before this sale happened, her estate was originally valued at $14 million, but it quadrupled following the partnership. Included is Houston's publishing, master recording revenue, name, likeness, and brand. Reportedly, the company is responsible for the coming biopic, I Want to Dance with Somebody, and additionally plan to roll out a perfume line, which is what we just talked about, a MAC Cosmetics partnership, and an archival book on Houston's life. So here's what I just want to say to that. It's so funny that I'm seeing the story now because I'm actually just seeing the story after I listened to some of the video content that Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister, shared about Pat Houston. And I believe Pat Houston is exactly what Leola Brown is saying she is. And it's very sad. And look, people do what they do for money. We get that. I probably would have respected it more if she just said, you know what? She's no longer here. Her her one and only child is no longer here. And so there's an opportunity that was presented to us and it's going to bring in more money. And so this is what we're going to do because I was left as the executor of her estate. So I have the right to do whatever I want to do. People get, may get pissed at that if she said it that way, but people would have no choice but to receive it. Not saying they would even have to respect it, but it would just be what it is because she literally is the executor of her estate. So there's really nothing that anyone can do to stop it. Even if people just cry out and say, this is terrible. This is tragic. This is cheap. This is, you know, a a money grab. This is capitalism at its best. All of those things, people could have their opinions about it. But for her to make these, I feel, in my opinion, disingenuous comments about the reasons why she did it is so tacky to me. So I just wanted to talk about this, guys. Please check out Leola Brown's content. Let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section. And guys, I I loved Whitney Houston. I really did. And I can remember the day that I learned that she passed away and I never will forget that. And I can't believe I'm saying at this point it was 10 years ago, but so much has happened in the 10 years that she's been gone and and it really was a tragic way to lose her life because honestly she should still be here but I feel that you you can't really force someone to get clean and to get right and to make a change in their life but it definitely is possible because I believe Bobby Brown he was able to do it and I believe if Pat really truly loved her sister-in-law, as much as she's trying to make us believe that she did, that woman could still be here right now. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I appreciate you liking and subscribing. And until the next time, this is Beth, and I'm just being beautifully honest.